So it is uh, my privilege that I could have learned a little bit of Chinese philosophy. Hmm? Uh, myself being also a student of Chinese philosophy. So it is part of your culture, so you should use these uh, great things of your culture to uh, contemplate about. Hmm? So uh, the uh, Chinese culture always emphasizes that nothing is really black and nothing is really white. Hmm? We are always living, uh, experiencing good things. We are always experiencing bad things. Sometimes uh, things turn bad, but they will turn good. Sometimes uh, things turn good, but they will turn bad again. Hmm? Why? Because uh, our life is a flow. Hmm? And it is a universal flow. Now, because we don't see it as a universal flow, hmm? please contemplate your own philosophy. Hmm? So that's why we identify with this, our, I was just explaining, with our small desires, hmm? with our small body being the whole uh, we know. Hmm? And we identify with our likings, with our dislikings, we identify with our wishes, what we want. Hmm? But what we want is not the whole world. Hmm? We have to see it very clearly. And what the others want is also not the whole world. Hmm? So we have to see ourselves and the world in bigger dimension. Hmm? So this, uh, what is happening now, even so it may look very negative. Hmm? Uh, it may have also the positive thing. The people will finally start thinking that there is uh, something which relates us together, that unless we have more love, compassion with each other, we will not live happy lives. Hmm? And this is true for ourselves, this is true for our family, this is true for our small society, in our jobs, in our places of work, wherever we are. And this is true for the whole world, for each and every society. So this, what is happening now, is actually a challenge hmm? for us to start thinking in a different dimension. Now anyone, I was just telling, uh, anyone who has a little sensitivity hmm, knows very clearly, hmm, no matter what religion he believes in, what hopes he has, he sees very clearly that this world is in trouble. Hmm? There, are, there is more and more pollution, hmm? more and more people live in a very... Uh, miserable conditions, while others live in the, such a luxury that has no measures. Hmm? And uh, uh, we must develop more the uh, open heart. Unless we develop more open heart, we will not be able to protect ourselves from our fears, depressions, and from our worries hmm? uh, and uh, not to speak about our family hmm? because our family can feel precisely our fears because they are close to us. Hmm? Every child, even as small uh, that he can only depend on mother milk already, is uh, identifying with her mother, father's desires, way of living, hmm? uh, understands very well the mother's fears, the mother's uh, uh, emotions. Hmm? 
And he is living through these fears, living through these emotions, living through these worries. Hmm? Now, many children born uh, nowadays uh, in, uh, uh, without taking proper care by parents. Hmm? So they feel it, they feel everything, the children. Animals also being treated like uh, our uh, worst enemies, hmm? without sensitivity. Hmm? Actually, the animals also, they know precisely if uh, uh, they are being taken to be killed hmm? or to be fed for to be killed, hmm? or if they are treated with love and compassion, hmm? then uh, their attitude to us will be different and uh, their contribution for us will be different. So now we don't even able to treat our near ones with love and compassion, uh, not to speak about animals, about other uh, brothers and sister beings. Hmm? Uh, so uh, we have to change our attitudes and uh, be aware of ourselves. Being aware of ourselves, being aware of that there is something bigger in us than our small desires, what we want to eat, what we want to hear, what we want to see, what we want to smell, what we want to listen to. But uh, our Awareness. The awareness is wisdom. I have just explained. Now, if we have awareness, we can face difficulties with troubles and we can bring something positive to ourselves and to others. If we don't have awareness and we completely identify with our small desires, we will be nuisance to ourselves. When we are nuisance to ourselves, we will certainly be also nuisance to others. Hmm? So you want to improve your relation in the family. The first thing to do is to have a more uh, positive approach to yourself. Hmm? Know your real happiness is... Uh, much more dependent on your mind than on your new car or your new wife or your <laughs> new, uh, uh, new house. Hmm? So uh, we study Buddhism, now we are in a Buddhist monastery. We believe that the happiness, uh, the secret of happiness comes from mind. Hmm? This is very important. Nowadays m people do not believe in the power of mind. In the ancient civilization like yours, the power of mind was most important. And it was the, uh, uh, the main content of education. Hmm? Uh, the education depends on the power of mind, hmm? the moral responsibility on the uh, sensitivity hmm? towards the uh, things that surpass our small ego, huh? our small self. Hmm? This sensitivity is very important <coughs> and it brings uh, the positivity. Hmm? And the positivity starts with uh, the meta hmm? friendship. When we develop friendly attitude to ourselves. How do we develop the friendly attitude to ourselves? By not identifying completely with our small desires, but seeing hmm, rather uh, the uh, uh, needs of others. Hmm? So the meta loving, loving or friendliness is the attitude of bringing benefit. Hmm? 
we want, the real benefit comes from heart. When we have no heart, we cannot benefit ourselves, we cannot benefit others. So the real benefit comes from heart. To cultivate the heart, we have to cultivate uh, love and compassion. When we have love and compassion, we have the heart. When we have the heart, we can help ourselves and we can help others. And we can face difficult situations like now. We will have good immunity. Now, this uh, disease that is spreading all around the world is uh, the disease based on the weak immunity. So, it uh, like a sickle huh? cutting the grass, it cuts uh, all those who have weak immunity. Hmm? Starting from the old people which have naturally weak immunity with age, hmm? but also with all of us who are eaten by worries, who are eaten by fears, who are eaten by depression, who are eaten by wrong habits. Hmm? drugs, alcohol, and so on. So, all this leads to weak immunity. Now, the uh, non-sensitivity of the modern civilization is to separation of body and the mind. The strength of the body does not come from the physical, it comes from the mind. Those who are strong are those who have a strong mind. Those who are weak, even if they have big muscles, if their mind is weak, their strength is not uh, worth much. And they will be definitely defeated by those who have a strong mind. So, the real strength is in mind. And the real challenge of what is happening is uh, teaching us to cultivate the mind rather than our endless desires. Hmm? When we cultivate the mind, we can find happiness. The seat of happiness is in the heart. Hmm? And the heart controls the mind. Nowadays, not many of us see it, how heart controls the mind. In ancient civilizations like China, the seat of the mind is not in the brain, but in the heart. This is your civilization. The heart is the seat of the mind. The mind comes from the heart. If you open the heart, you have the big mind, if you have the big mind, you are strong. If you have the small mind, you are weak. Even if you have a big body and big muscles, you are very weak and very vulnerable. Hmm? So, whatever trouble you encounter, it will overthrow you. Hmm? The muscles will not help. Even so, it's not bad to pay attention to the muscles here and there because they also have their function. But uh, they will function only all right when you put the wisdom into the way you use them. If you just have muscles and no wisdom to use them properly, then these muscles will be also a burden. Hmm? Similarly, we need uh, food, but we have to put uh, wisdom into how we use our food. We need a roof above our head, but we have to put wisdom into the way uh, we arrange our roof about uh, our head. And uh, similarly, we need to see things, but we have to put wisdom into our eyes. Otherwise, our eyes will always mislead us. We have to put wisdom into our ears. Otherwise, the ears will always misguide us. We have to put wisdom into our tongue. Otherwise, our tongue will always misguide us. 
we have to put wisdom into our body otherwise our body will always misguide us and when our senses misguide us the mind will misguide us no other way this is meditation to put wisdom into the way we use our five senses this is awareness when we have awareness heart opens because we don't have awareness the heart is not open so we don't know what we ourselves need no wonder we don't know what the others me need hmm? so we identify with our small desires we see others also with the eyes of our small desires no wonder we have fears no wonder we have worries no wonder we have aggressivity because we see through our uh, non developed mind non developed mind means non developed heart hmm? non developed heart means no wisdom hmm? the wisdom comes from heart so the buddha teaches how to develop wisdom hmm? practice love compassion joy and equanimity when you practice them you will be aware you will be aware what you need hmm? and you will be aware of what the others need this is wisdom when you aware what you really need when you then you will be aware of the what the others me, need then you can live a reasonable life when you live a reasonable life you will not be not have much fear little little fear is all right because we have to protect our life that's nature no life is nature but uh, not a big fear little worry is all right no problem but not a big worry no need for big worry because after all what can happen hmm? we can only lose our little self but if you believe in buddhism your big self you can never lose hmm? Hmm? so we have to identify with the big self this big self is no self this is the teaching of the buddha and this no self or the big self is what can save the world hmm? it can bring peace and harmony so this uh, what is happening now is a challenge hmm? for us for our family for our friends for our society to discover Uh, at least something of the taste of the big self of the non self hmm? then our worries will become less but uh, the little worry is all right our fears will become less little fear is all right our aggression will become less hmm? uh, little aggression if possible also try to remove hmm? so we should be tolerant when we tolerant to others then we will develop all the positive faculties when we not tolerant to others all the negative faculties all the negative things in us will grow so we should start by tolerating uh, the bad things in others rather than always trying to find our enemies in others according to buddhism our enemy is inside even if you kill thousands of enemies it is not great but when you kill your own enemy your aggression your fears your worries then you are a great hero the buddha says hmm? so 
we have to all try to find at least a little bit from the taste of the big self, of the non-self, which can forget our egoistic desires and identify with the real needs of others and of oneself. Most of us only see our own needs, they never see the needs of others. And because we obsess with uh, ourselves, we have fears, depression, worries. Hmm? So, find uh, more love and compassion, find more uh, open heart in yourself, see more your own shortcomings, not always try to find shortcomings outside. The, uh, our world is uh, in an ecological disaster, slowly. Hmm? Uh, so we have to start by inner ecology, to improve ourselves, improve our attitudes to ourselves, to our families. Then automatically hmm? our world will become better, because we will rather than multiply our unnecessary desires, we will restrain our necessary, unnecessary desires and we will be more uh, open to others hmm? rather than seeing enemies to other, in others. Hmm?